Hey everybody, welcome to Chatbox Reviews. I'm Stan with my lovely wife Tanya here again. We're doing a review, spoiler free, of The Last Jedi, Episode 8. I mean, yeah. <laughs> We yeah. just got out of the midnight session, so it was like 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. So, a little tired. Yeah, just a little bit tired, but still pumped after so, yeah. seeing that. Um, we've been dying to see this. Like, It was really great to see, you know, in full force, all these fans come out and like just pack out the cinema, something fierce. But um, I think overall, I was pretty happy with where it's going. I think as we all saw with Force Awakens, yeah, it doesn't bridge everything that comes before it. It's like, making its own. It's going into a new <coughs> new kind of... off. I mean, you've got to set up Han Solo's movie. You've got to set up all these other side movies. So it's got to branch off into its own kind of yeah it's movie. got to have its own own feel to it and it does it does answer a few questions it doesn't give you everything on like it just it sets you up to where you're going the same thing with force awakens it directly like you can cut the credits out from force awakens yeah and just go roll straight into this which is great because we watched Force Awakens, <laughs> like, um, yeah, I was really happy with John Boyega's <laughs> character, um, Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Thought he like more of him was like, you know, great. Carrie Fisher was like, you know, as wonderful as she is, it's heartbreaking just to see like, you know, oh, all right, this is a last portrayal of Leia and stuff before like, you know, we go into a, another generation of like, you know, characters and stuff, but. I was happy with her. I think Luke was great. Mark Hamill should win, like, I don't know, an Academy Award for him, like, you know, returning to this character, but also developing him and showing there's different layers and stuff and different things that happen in it with mm. him that you don't really see that Luke Skywalker has sort of, like, you know, gone through and stuff. And I think it was, I was happy with everything. I just kind of like, you know, th what is it, two and a half hours or something? Yeah, it's roughly two and a half hours. I could barely even, like, you know, I it didn't even... so quick. Not, not, like, sitting there going, I'm bored with this. No. Like, the whole time you just sort of like, wow, like, you know, it just goes, flies yeah. by so quick. You don't realise that it's, yeah, it's the longest movie um, that they've done. Yeah. So it's like you don't even notice it. Yeah. And I was really in love with Daisy Ridley and what she was doing with uh, Ray. Um, I can't remember the guy who plays Ben Ben Solo. I can't. Yeah. I can't but say his he name. did a really good job Color too. Ring, Very yeah. the confliction as well is just he plays such a really good diverse character. I think. I think he serves his purpose really well. Yeah. And I think like he's more interesting to me than like a lot of bad guy characters that have come before he's only had two movies and this one really complex. yeah it goes into a lot of you know what happens in like the previous movie kind of makes sense in this movie like oh that's why this and that things are revealed we're not going to give it away here because it's spoiler free but um overall I was like so happy with the like you know the the ship to ship battles, mm. uh, the you know. I mean, there's some things that we you know thought of later that we you know you could change or this could happen or this is or just like us just thinking out, out like yeah. <laughs> okay, Carrie's not going to be back for the next one, so I'm just kind of like, all right, like you know that should change, you know that should they should change this so it kind of fits the story. Yeah with that but who knows what they're going to do it's, but i yeah. think it's just kind of like it's just a curveball because apparently carrie had a bigger role in the next movie oh. which we'll never get to see because you know i don't think it's well, right her, if they recast her her daughter also took a really good role in this movie as billy well. lord yeah, yeah she, she was really, really well. good yeah and she's it's not just a cameo of her she yeah. serves a really good purpose and stuff we grabbed a whole bunch of like so stuff many. Like we got uh, the event cinemas um, drinking flask, Limited and this is edition. like an actual. It's like a tin like, flask, yeah. like it's not plastic. We got the red collector cups. <laughs> yeah, um, these guys. No, they're, they're I, awesome. Yeah, I've. I want to see a whole movie just based on them. Yeah. But um, 
yeah, we've got a Stormtrooper flask as well. Um, and most importantly, we got the popcorn holder, <laughs> which is very, very cool. Yes. Um, so we didn't, yeah, like, this movie could have sucked, but... No, no way. You know, it could have, it could have, and I still would have come away really happy with, like, everything. Yeah. You know, I think it's... It's such a, a an enjoyable experience as well. I mean, what you learn and what everyone... All the characters go through, it's just... Yeah, definitely go see it in the cinema if you can. And, like, also, too, like, the merchandise and stuff, like... You know, I love it. Yeah, Event Cinemas always does a really good job with merchandise. Event Cinemas, yeah, did really well tonight with the way like and, just and hosting it as well yeah fans and stuff were like you know out in full force like we said before but um the but only so issue i would have is if you go to a midnight screening don't play all the ads and the credits and yeah the, and the the freaking trailers only complaint i think it's i like could that have went for 40 minutes y'all <laughs> we we were there at like you know midnight and the movie didn't start till Almost like one well, not almost one. It was like, like thirty-five past, yeah, <laughs> roughly that. But like, that's the thing. When as soon as the Lucasfilm, you know, yeah. came up the logo, everyone just cheered and stuff. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like you need to start that straight away. But <laughs> people are there. They're but also, tired. Don't yeah. play forty minutes of ads. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like they they're getting paid for it. So like yeah, you know they've got show to show that stuff at a normal session tomorrow, not for your midnight. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's as simple as that. Like, I understand, like, the business <laughs> side of things. Eh. But also, too, like, just to have fans, like, you know, show up and be like, oh, man, I've been waiting, like, you know, this for ages. Like, yeah. well, you got to wait I another, like, 20 minutes. I just felt the frustration in the room. <laughs> yeah. And plus, too, like, everyone's, like, on the edge of their seat going, oh, I can't wait to see the yeah. scroll come <laughs> up. But, um, yeah, besides yeah. that, I no. can't really say anything else, like... I, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was definitely worth seeing again in the cinema. Yeah, we're definitely going to check it out again. It was awesome. And also, um, yeah, I think um, if you do want to watch our spoilers review, um, yeah, check it out. Make sure you watch it after. Yes. Yeah. After we'll you've seen the freaking the movie, because it. yeah, there is some so much great stuff that right happens now. in it. There's also some stuff that I kind of disagree with, but also yeah. I still found like you know great, but. Yeah, all in all, I can't think of anything else no, to go into. No, we really enjoy the movie, so check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we'll post up our spoilers later on. Thanks, Thanks. for watching. Bye. Bye.